quiet Saturday morning at the Cutler household. Watermelon. It's watermelon day. <laughs> and today is arms. I'm training and I'm actually going to mix a little pre-workout. And Angie bought me muffins, so I'm going to actually have a muffin. I'm going to have a muffin today before I train. These are the muffins. What do you think of that, Daisy? Angie just woke up. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Angie. I love messing with you. Thank you. What? what do you do? Don't this is what you do. No, don't, don't. Because if this is this is PG YouTube. Sometimes you yell at me when you get mad, and you say, Shut the F up! Shut your F Never, up. never. 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 You just need to be quiet. And look cute. Um, <laughs> what happened? You broke that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened, guys, when Jay put the dishes away. <laughs> Something you taught me. All right, guys, so I am off to the gym. It is Saturday at 12.30 on June 20th. So I did a live Cutler Club this morning. I took yesterday off from the gym because I did legs the day prior and I was just absolutely exhausted. So sorry about the, uh, the bumpy. If you're new to the channel, so what I try to put on this YouTube channel uh, is, you know, information about like lifestyle and training and you know give my tips on certain things I mean people have seen me work out a million times especially you people that have been following me for such, such a long time uh, my training is pretty similar to what I did when I was getting ready for Olympia minus some of the crazy weights but today's arm day and it won't be much different from what I was doing at my peak actually and what I have realized as I've progressed and you know now we have media where before you know, you had to read a magazine article in order to get information on what what an athlete does in order to train for a show or stay in certain shape or just to grow a body part or get leaner. You know, now we can compile that all into the YouTube series and it gives people a little insight and I think that's what people enjoy the most is, you know, knowing not only like, okay, how the person works out, but like what they have to do in order to maintain everything. So. What I wanted to do is I wanted to do a vlog video, which I'm actually going to shoot this almost in like selfie mode because I didn't want to have to ask someone to come to the gym with me. And Dave or J Mac, who normally shoots this stuff, you know, Dave, you know, we we usually shoot stuff together, but I wanted to try doing something to see what the feedback was on on what this video would be like if I could just shoot it this way. But I've been feeling really good. I got up and did I almost did an hour of cardio this morning, fasted. And for you people that ask when the best time to do cardiovascular, I always suggest fasting because you're going to burn your body fat uh, is going to be used for energy rather than your sugar levels, which you, everyone has sugar levels, especially as they're, as they're eating a lot of food. So uh, for me, you know, I always preferred fasted. That's how I always got in the best shape for my shows. I would actually do, you know, fasted morning cardio and then I would do a session either after the training or before. I went to bed at night, you know, I would train twice a day a lot. I always suggest training twice a day. Like I like I like the twice a day workouts. It helps hit the metabolism. So if you're gonna do, you know, a large body part in the morning, you'd hit a smaller one in the afternoon or in the evening. And that way it hits your metabolism but also allows you to focus on, you know, maintaining uh, more effort towards that body part. So 
example, I would do back in the morning, biceps at night. Another day, I'd do chest in the morning. I'd do triceps at night. If I was to do legs, I'd do hamstrings in the morning, and I would do quads in the afternoon. Just allow yourself five hours in between. So if you're going to train twice a day, um, in my case, I mean, even when I was training for shows, I was in the gym four times because I was doing two cardio sessions, two weight sessions on separate occasions. Uh, just make sure you give yourself five hours between the strength workout. So if you're going to do any kind of body part training in the morning, just make sure you get in a couple meals and uh, five hours in between before you hit the gym again. So I'm going to hit LVAC today, which is Las Vegas Athletic Club. There's many, many around the valley, and I actually train at a different one all the time. And the reason I train at this gym for arms is I like to do a little more machine work now um, instead of a ton of free weights. So this gym is about 10 minutes from my house. Uh, it, hopefully it won't be very crowded today, but I'll kind of give you guys an insight, um, you know, from my camera view on what I do. And I'll try to do a little explanation on the exercise depending on the music, because sometimes the music's too loud and you can't really do much. So I'll probably go over the workout at the end. I'll just film the exercises and maybe talk about it a little bit. Um, and then, you know, if you guys have some questions below, I get on the YouTube uh, comments and I actually answer the questions. So this is the ride to the gym, getting my mind focused on what I want to do. I have my repair, which is my my intro workout inside my water, and uh, no music, no no special uh, psych up uh, routines for the gym. I'm I'm pretty motivated to train. Uh, like I said, I took yesterday off, so. We'll, uh, we'll go hit some arms, buys and tries today. We're going to start with triceps. All right, guys, I'm home from the gym. And I'm going to do a recap of my workout. So you guys that follow me know my office. I'm going to set this camera up and do kind of a recap. All right, so... Uh, today was arm day and it was a really good workout. Um, I did try something new and tried filming this thing myself. Um, so I started with triceps. I did press downs with the ropes. I did two working uh, warm up sets, which I call field sets. And then I did three working sets, pyramiding the weight up uh, with this exercise. It's always the first starting exercise to get my elbows warm. Um, and, you know, I got the pump going there. And then I moved over to... A press down bar movement so with this you know I just did you know I leaned in I know a lot of people question that but I did uh, went to three straight sets there pyramiding the weight up uh, very good pump on that um, then I did the hammer dip machine and as you see with this uh, dip machine I actually turn around backwards in the machine and and really just concentrate on squeezing the long head uh, did three working sets there around 12 repetitions um, <clears throat> then I went over and did the seated overhead French press. So what I did is I sat on a in kind of an apparatus that allowed me to do that with both arms. Uh, did you know three straight sets there? I pretty much started with uh, 25 and a 10 on each side. Did three sets and then I finished triceps with the dumbbell kickback with a 30 pound dumbbell. So <clears throat> I alternated arms with that. Did a single arm at a time. Uh, really good shaping, finishing, final pump movement. Um, and then started biceps and with biceps, you know, I always start with seated dumbbell curls. I alternated uh, Pyramid the weight up. I think I started with 35s went to 40s uh, With that focused on doing I don't know 10 8 10 reps each arm uh, And then I moved over to the preacher hammer curl and with this movement um, You know, I did the hammer strength preacher uh, Pretty much stayed with straight sets there did three. I think I actually did four sets there um, I showed two different versions of that exercise uh, for you guys so you could see. Um, yes, I do have the torn bicep on this side, so you can see that. A lot of people ask that question when I um, do these movements. So, um, And then I did the standing cambered bar with the fat grips, okay? I incorporated the fat grips in so you guys can see. Um, you know, those are the signature fat grips. You know, once again, I, I actually um, I requested my own signature pair because I use these. Um, they sent them to me for free over 10 years ago, um, loved the product. It, the thicker bars definitely help with your brachialis, so you get that that more arm here with the forearm attachment. 
Um, and as you know, I've lost a lot of size in my forearms from all the uh, less heavy training. So I uh, did three sets there with that standing bar curl with the fat grips. I used an 80 pound bar, I believe. Maybe I did four sets, but. And then I did the hammer strength two arm machine curl where my arms are elevated in this position. So I actually did both arms at a time, kind of leaning back, really takes the shoulder out of the movement. Um, did three straight sets there and that finished uh, for the buys and try workout all, all around a good pump. Um, and then I wanted to show you guys the abs because people always ask me about the ab training. So I went over to the ab stations. I started with the seated crunch machine. So I grabbed the machine. I did uh, 15 reps, only 20 pounds. I showcased that um, only 20 pounds, really just doing 15. I did three sets there. Um, and then I did the lying crunch, okay, where I laid down with no weight and just doing the crunches, 20, 20 reps. Since there's no weight, I focused on a little higher rep range, really just trying to contract the abs. And this is really good to keep your core tight. Um, great, great movement there. Uh, and then I finished with the leg raise with that Icarian leg raise machine. So um, just bringing the legs up, really just squeezing abs. I did three sets there. So nine total sets, three movements. Um, I rested very short in between, maybe 30 seconds between each set. Remember, focus on a lot more repetitions for the ab training. I think I did 20, 20 reps in that hanging leg raise movement too. Uh, all in all, all great, great workout. Um, wanted to do something, like I said, something different for this video. Uh, make sure you guys, you know, if you're a first time person watching this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, but more importantly, uh, share this, okay? So we'll keep uh, putting out the content and uh, always appreciate you guys. We're just about at 400,000, so uh, by the time this video hits, we'll be very, very close. And uh, I can't appreciate you guys enough. And, you know, keep following all of us on JTV and, and uh, stay tuned because we got so much more to come. Keep killing it, guys, okay? Keep killing those arms. Let's get it.